Hi everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels. In this week's video, we're going to talk about tire pressure monitors and why you need them right after we run this. So stay tuned. Tire pressure monitors. These are the little sensors on your valve stems that read back to a display inside your vehicle that tell you the tire pressure and temperature of each wheel. They're very important to have because they can notify you before you have a blowout. And you want to make sure you do you know that because when you're traveling down the road towing this trailer, you don't have any real feedback to what's going on with these tires. I mean, one of these tires can blow out and you may not know it and keep driving and the tire will shred tear up the side of your RV and you've got a lot of big problems, a lot of expensive repair. These sensors are designed in such a way that if you lose 10% of your air in your tire, it will set an alarm off which should notify you to start pulling off the road and you know get into a safe place where you can take care of that. They will also warn you if the temperature goes too high in your vehicle. So we're going over to a friend's house and she just bought a system for her trailer and I offered to help install it and in part of that I'm going to film it and show it to you next and what's involved in installing one of these systems and so we're going to do that now and then we'll come back here and we'll close the video out. So we're at a, one of our friends house and they have an Airstream here that we are going to install the tire pressure monitoring system. We've, they got the one from TST which is the same that we have on ours they got it from Techno RV, um, which we would recommend. They are a very good uh, supplier and good friends of ours. So if you want to get one of these, um, I will put a link in the description down below because we are affiliates with them. It does help out our channel a little bit if you buy through our link. We're going to install this on, on the Airstream here. In the kit you have the, the dash display. You've got the sensors for each wheel. In this setup we've got one extra sensor for the spare tire. And you have a repeater here that gets mounted next to the battery that si repeats the signal so that you have a strong signal inside the tow vehicle. So we're going to go through and set this up. There's really not a lot to doing this. It's pretty straightforward. But you do have to program each one of these sensors to a position on the display. And that's probably the biggest part of doing this. So we're going to walk through those steps with you and show you how that's done. And then from there we'll mount the sensor or the repeater on the battery and we'll put the sensors on each of the wheels and then we'll go through and just make sure everything's working um, when we're done. So pretty straightforward, come along and we'll, we'll do this now. Okay, so one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna program the sensors into the display here. And I've gone in and I've numbered all the sensors here so that I know when I program in here, I'm gonna program them to a particular wheel position and then you know that that sensor should always stay on that wheel when you're when you change tires or whatever. And in this case, we do have five sensors, so I I've I've mounted set one up for the spare tire too. Now they have really good instructions here on setting things up. You've got um, a high pressure alarm, a low pressure alarm, and then you program each sensor to display. You can also program the temperature alarm, but they recommend that you don't do that. So in this video, we're gonna tell you why you need a tire pressure monitoring system like this, and why we bought our system. So it was in the spring a few years ago, when after we had just gotten our trailer, it was our first time out, we were getting ready to go to a rally. It's late in the evening, we're doing the last few things to check before we you are going to go to bed for the night and get ready to leave in the morning. And one of them was checking the air pressure of the tires. And I checked the pressure in all the tires and one of them had zero air pressure. But you couldn't tell because the other tire was holding that tire up in the air. You know, it's not like on a car when you got a flat tire and that corner of the car is leaning. And so we pulled the tire off. I took a look at it. I found a screw in it. So I plugged the screw hole, put air in it, 
it was holding okay but it had a very very slow leak so I decided to leave it on there pump it up and just keep checking it and so it, it held air good enough to get out there we stopped a few times at rest stops checked the air pressure on it if it was gonna be a problem I was gonna put the spare on it but it was keeping enough air in that we made it out there it happened to be that the manufacturing rep for TST systems was at this rally we got to hear all about their setup and was able to purchase it directly from them okay we moved inside the garage because it was a little bit hard to see the display in the Sun out there so and obviously if I, if I can't see it you're not gonna see it on film so we're going to press and hold set and it will beep and now you can go to the plus and you can scroll through the settings it's blinking high pressure set now we're in low pressure set we're gonna go with that first now we're showing the axles and we want to pick the axle range that we want to program and so our sensors are going to be on the trailer so we're going to move into the trailer and you can see it's set at 100 psi now we want to run the tire pressure between 60 and 65 pounds so we're going to set the low pressure at about 10 percent under 60 so we're going to set it at about 55 Okay, so here's the low pressure now it's set at 55, so it's 10% under between six under 10 percent under 60. So we hit set and lock that in. Okay, so now it's asking me to set up another area and I'm gonna use go. So here we can see the low pressure set at this area. I'm now gonna set the back section of the trailer to the same to 55, and that's gonna be for the spare tire. Now hit set. Okay, so now we're all set with those. So now we want to set the high pressure, and the high pressure is going to be set at 20% over our high pressure. So we're going to be setting it at 65, and we're going to be setting the high pressure at about 78. There, now we can hold set. It beeps. We're at high pressure set. It's set to go into that. And so now we again use go to select the axle. And we are set 175, so we're going to take that down to 78. Right there. We hit set to lock it in. Now go. Go, and we're going to set the for the spare. Again, we're going to take that down to 78. Right there, and set to lock it in. There. Now we've got the upper and lower limits are set. High temperature. Now this, let's see what it's set at. So this is set at 50 158 degrees and that's where it's factory set and they recommend that you leave it there so we're not going to touch that okay so now we're going to learn the id so we're in learn id and we're going to set the position and we have to scroll through all the tires until we get the one that we want blinking and this is tire number one hit set the f is our f's are flashing Okay, now you've programmed it for that position. You hit set to store it. Move to the next position. Take your next sensor. So that is how you program the ID. Now we are all set with that. So you can now see that 
the tires are all set in here with the spare and you're ready to mount the sensors to the vehicle or to the trailer. So we'll go out and do that next. Another occurrence that happened using these air pressure monitors and the temperature sensor in particular, we were on a trip and we were driving through South Carolina and the monitor sits on Diane's side of the truck. And I did that on purpose because I want her to also be able to monitor that for me. And so she has a habit of constantly looking down, you know, once an hour or so, just looking to see as it goes through, make sure the tire pressure's okay, everything's in line, wheel to wheel, you know, before we get an alarm, you know, that way we can stay ahead of it. And she happened to notice that one of the wheels was getting hot. Most of the wheels were maybe about five to 10 degrees above the typical air temperature. But this one wheel was well over 100 degrees and was encroaching on maybe 120. And she thought that was odd. So we immediately pulled into a rest area and we went out and looked and we checked it. It happened to be this wheel right here. And I noticed that the rim was extremely hot. And of course that was drawing the temperature of the tire up quite a bit. And so again, jacked the, the trailer up, put this wheel on blocks and raised it up so I could spin this one. And as I spun it, I heard the brakes dragging. And so I knew I had a brake issue with that one particular wheel. A little more investigation, I noticed that the return springs on the brake shoes had broken and it was dragging. So I used a screwdriver, got the brake shoes off the brake drum a little bit so we could travel and then immediately made arrangements to get it repaired. But without the tire pressure monitor and the temperature part of that, I wouldn't have known that I had this issue because I didn't notice significantly difference in how the trailer was braking. So that was a, a added bonus of being able to have a monitoring system like this on your trailer, not only to find tire pressure issues and, and save you from a blowout or, or having a lot of issues because of a blowout, but also warning you that you had other issues like the brakes on the trailer happened to be failing on one of the wheels. All right, so now we're gonna install the sensors onto the wheels. And again, remember I've numbered them. So this will be wheel number two. The wheel behind me will be wheel number four. On the other side will be one and three. And that corresponds to how I programmed them. So the first thing you wanna do is they give you a little nut right here and you want to put that on the valve stem after you take the cap off. Just run that all the way down. Then take your sensor, screw it on. You hear a little bit of air leak until you get it tight. Then you take the nut and use the little wrench they give you. And you tighten it to the sensor like that. Now this is locked down there. No one can come around and take it off unless they have the tool. You should have polished up my wheels. <laughs> <laughs> They're old wheels though. We're, we're checking the air pressure on the tires so you can hear the air compressor running in the background. But this is also beeping and I wanted to show you what the display looked like if you got a warning. So if you can, hopefully you can see this. Um, it's now showing that the Passenger side tire, front tire, is at zero pressure, and that's because we removed the sensor to fill it up with air to bring it up to pressure. To silence that, you just hit one of these buttons. It still shows zero pressure, but now it's going to go through the cycle and start checking all the other wheels, which we've got them set pretty well, all at around 65 pounds, 66 pounds. So we're in good shape there. We're just going to be resetting this one tire, and then we'll be all set. So right here's the repeater, and that is attached to the battery post right here, positive and negative, and it has a little red light on it that says it's working. And that just lets repeats the signal from the sensors to the tow vehicle to make sure you have a strong signal and you don't lose the connection. So that's all set and done. We can close this up. And just move to the tow vehicle and put the display in there. So you've got a couple options to put this in your vehicle. They give you a nice little stand here that you can set it on. Or you can use a windshield suction mount here and mount that to the back and onto your, onto your windshield. You've also got your power cord and the adapter for your cigarette lighter. This has an internal battery. It's good for about a week 
and then it needs to be charged. So if you're just doing short trips, you just need to charge it every now and then, um, maybe down one, every other trip or something like that. And that's just about it. Everything's all set. We're ready to go. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're looking to get a system like this for your RV, check out Technical RV. They are a great affiliate of ours, and we've worked with them on previous videos, and Eric and Tammy are wonderful people. They will treat you well. In fact, my friend Val, whose system we just installed, got it from Technical RV, and she ordered it and had it just in a couple of days. She was very impressed with their service. Um, they got a good price on their equipment, and I will put a affiliate code in the description below. If you use that code, it won't cost you any more, but it does benefit us and our channel, and I would appreciate very much that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And make sure to ring the bell for notifications so that we notify you when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along with our adventures. And so until the next time, we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Take care.